Proxima b is an Earth-sized exoplanet orbiting Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system at just 4.24 light-years away. This planet continues to astonish scientists with its paradoxical conditions. At the heart of this intrigue lies its tidal locking which creates a stark divide, one hemisphere scorched by eternal sunlight while the other remains a frozen abyss shrouded in perpetual darkness. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has pierced this veil uncovering structured infrared emissions on the dark side that pulse with mathematical precision. These findings have sparked debates about their origin, natural marvel or alien megastructure. The dark side's emissions, the one thousandth the brightness of the sunlit side, cluster in geometric formations resembling Earth's urban grids. These hot spots emit terahertz radiation, a frequency rarely observed in nature but commonly used in advanced communication technologies. Scientists have mapped 12 distinct zones with synchronized pulsations, each cycling every 27.3 hours, a rhythm mirroring Proxima b's orbital period. This synchronicity hints at systems orchestrated by intelligence. Skeptics propose exotic crystal formations in the planet's crust could generate similar patterns through pyroelectric effects. Proxima b's molten iron core, heated by intense tidal forces from its red dwarf star, might fuel geothermal networks beneath the dark side's ice. If hydrothermal vents exist, they could create subsurface lakes teeming with extremophile organisms akin to Earth's Thermococcus species, which thrive in boiling sulfur waters. Joost's detection of ammonia and hydrogen sulfide near emission sites supports this idea, as these compounds often accompany microbial life in anaerobic environments. However, the sheer scale of emissions, equivalent to 10,000 nuclear power plants, exceeds what natural geology could produce, leaning the argument toward artificial energy infrastructure. The planet's thin atmosphere, barely 0.1% of Earth's density, complicates heat retention. Yet JWST identified nanoparticles of titanium dioxide in the dark side's icy regolith, a compound used on Earth for solar radiation reflection. If engineered intentionally, these particles could trap geothermal heat creating microclimates beneath the surface. Advanced civilizations might use such materials to build insulated domes or underground arcologies, shielding habitats from the 200 degrees Celsius exterior. These structures could harness superconductors to transmit energy across vast distances, linking geothermal plants to urban centers. The Terminator Line, the twilight zone between light and dark, offers another puzzle. JWST detected glacial movements here suggesting subsurface liquid water lubricating ice sheets. This water, warmed by radioactive isotopes like uranium-238, might host bioluminescent ecosystems similar to Antarctica's bloodfalls, where iron-oxidizing microbes create eerie crimson flows. If life exists, it could use sonar or magnetic fields to navigate darkness, evolving sensory organs radically different from Earth's light-dependent species. Proxima Centauri's frequent stellar flares bombard the planet with X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, making surface survival improbable without radiation-hardened technology. A hypothetical civilization might dwell in lava tubes or bunkers using fusion reactors fueled by deuterium from icy comets. The emission's coherent light patterns resembling fiber-optic networks could indicate data transmission systems or quantum communication arrays, technologies that would revolutionize human understanding of physics. The Breakthrough Starshot initiative plans to deploy gram-scale probes propelled by gigawatt lasers to reach Proxima b within 20 years. These probes, equipped with nanophotonic sensors, could analyze atmospheric chemistry and surface features at centimeter resolution. A flyby might capture images of megastructures or industrial complexes, settling debates about the emission's origin. However, interstellar dust and cosmic ray erosion pose risks requiring self-healing nanomaterials for probe survival. Ethically, confirming intelligent life would trigger global policy overhauls. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNOOSA, has drafted protocols for extraterrestrial contact prioritizing non-interference and data transparency. Meanwhile, theologians debate whether alien souls fit into creation narratives, while economists speculate about post-scarcity society leveraging Proxima B's technology for unlimited energy. The dark side's methane plumes detected seasonally add another wrinkle. On Earth, 
Methane is linked to agriculture and fossil fuels, but Proxima B's version lacks isotopic markers of biological origin. One theory suggests methanogenic bacteria in underground aquifers, while another posits industrial synthesis for fuel or waste. The plume's cyclical timing aligns with emission pulses, implying a connected system, perhaps carbon capture factories or terraforming experiments. Proxima B's magnetic field, 100 times weaker than Earth's, offers little protection from stellar winds. Yet JWST observed auroral glows near the dark side's poles caused by charged particles interacting with atmospheric gases. These auroras, tinged emerald green from oxygen ions, suggest artificial atmospheric replenishment. A civilization might split ice into hydrogen and oxygen to create breathable air and rocket fuel. The planet's surface pressure, comparable to Mars, challenges large-scale construction. However, 3D printed regolith habitats or aerogel insulation could enable settlements. Even if the emissions stem from unknown natural processes, Proxima B reshapes our understanding of planetary science. Traditionally, the search for life focused on planets within the Goldilocks zone where liquid water exists. The potential for advanced civilizations on Proxima B raises questions about the nature of intelligence. If life adapts to harsh conditions, what forms might it take? Could it use chemosynthesis or unknown metabolic pathways? Yet ethical concerns loom. Would we be seen as allies or invaders? Culturally, discovering alien life could unify humanity or spark fear and division. Philosophies, religions, and even existential beliefs might transform overnight. The surface of Proxima B's dark side is a frozen wasteland where temperatures plummet to levels unimaginable on Earth. Yet beneath this icy crust, scientists speculate the presence of geothermal activity, possibly from volcanic vents releasing heat and creating subsurface lakes. These hidden bodies of water could harbor extremophilic organisms thriving in conditions similar to Earth's deep sea hydrothermal vents. The James Webb Space Telescope has detected unusual infrared emissions from this region, suggesting complex thermal patterns. These emissions might indicate the existence of an underground ecosystem supported by the planet's internal heat. The presence of ammonia and hydrogen sulfide in the atmosphere further supports the possibility of life, as these compounds are often associated with biological processes. However, the sheer scale of the emissions challenges natural explanations, leading some to propose artificial origins. The planet's thin atmosphere, less than 0.1% of Earth's density, complicates heat retention, yet localized warming could occur through geothermal processes. Joost's observations of titanium dioxide nanoparticles in the regolith suggest potential engineering to trap heat, creating microclimates beneath the surface. These microclimates could support habitats shielded from extreme surface conditions, possibly housing advanced civilizations. The Terminator line, the boundary between the planet's day and night sides, presents another area of interest. JWST has observed glacial movements here, indicating the presence of subsurface liquid water lubricating ice sheets. This water, warmed by radioactive isotopes like uranium-238, might support bioluminescent ecosystems similar to Antarctica's bloodfalls, where iron-oxidizing microbes create eerie crimson flows. Life forms in this environment could have evolved unique sensory adaptations, such as sonar or magnetoreception, to navigate the perpetual darkness. Proxima Centauri's frequent stellar flares bombard the planet with X-rays and ultraviolet radiation, making surface survival improbable without radiation-hardened technology. Hypothetical civilizations might dwell in lava tubes or bunkers, utilizing fusion reactors fueled by deuterium from icy comets. The emissions detected by JWST resemble coherent light patterns, possibly indicating data transmission systems or quantum communication arrays. These technologies would revolutionize human understanding of physics, offering insights into advanced energy and communication systems. The Breakthrough Starshot initiative plans to deploy gram-scale probes propelled by gigawatt lasers to reach Proxima B within 20 years. Equipped with nanophotonic sensors, these probes could analyze atmospheric chemistry and surface features at centimeter resolution. A flyby might capture images of megastructures or industrial complexes, settling debates about the emission's origin. However, 
Interstellar dust and cosmic ray erosion pose risks, requiring self-healing nanomaterials for probe survival. Ethically, confirming intelligent life would trigger global policy overhauls. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs, UNOOSA, has drafted protocols for extraterrestrial contact, prioritizing non-interference and data transparency. Meanwhile, theologians debate whether alien life fits into creation narratives, while economists speculate about post-scarcity societies leveraging Proxima B's technology for unlimited energy. The dark side's methane plumes detected seasonally add another wrinkle. On Earth, methane is linked to agriculture and fossil fuels, but Proxima B's version lacks isotopic markers of biological origin. One theory suggests methanogenic bacteria in underground aquifers, while another posits industrial synthesis for fuel or waste. The plume's cyclical timing aligns with emission, 